Welcoming Bobby to the Hall of Fame are Julius Irving and Charles Barkley. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Jones. Thank you. Thank you to the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame for this great honor. My presenters, David Thompson and Billy Cunningham, are not, unable to be here tonight. Please pray for David's health issues, and please keep Billy and those impacted by Hurricane Dorian in your thoughts. Thank you to Julius and Charles for your coming off the bench to be my presenters tonight. <laughs> it's not a bad gig, is it? <laughs> um, you guys are both great teammates and encouragers. The Hall's recognition of those who contributed on the defensive end of the court is a great encouragement to myself and many others. As I stand here before you, I'm reminded of how the Lord has blessed my life with so many positive influences throughout my basketball career. My parents, J.R. and Hazel Jones, both played college basketball. J.R. at Indiana State and Oklahoma University and mom at National Business College. My dad would travel during the week, but during my early teenage years, he would give me basketball drills to complete each afternoon after school. He knew I was a candidate for the Couch Potato Hall of Fame, so he pushed me to become familiar with basketball. I'm so thankful that he did. As I would leave the house for a high school game, my mom would tell me, you better get a slew of rebounds tonight or you're going to get a swift kick when you get home. That was great motivation. I remember coming home one night and told my mom I had a big scoring game. Her response was, Bobby, that's really good, but I once scored 48 in a high school game. I guess not being the leading scorer in the, um, in the family helped me understand that there are other ways to impact the game. Playing for Coach Dean Smith at North Carolina was another blessing. He, along with Bill Guthridge and John Lotz, set my course as a player for the next level of professional basketball. The year I spent on the freshman team with Coach Guthridge taught me how to play help defense. Coach Lotz worked on my weak jump shot and was a solid Christian influence in my life. Coach Smith set the tone for how I would play this game for the next 12 years. I believe if I had not played under him, I wouldn't be standing here tonight. Playing with teammates Bill Chambers, Steve Previs, Mitch Kupchak, George Carl, and Bob McAdoo was a growing experience for me. During my time at Carolina, I must thank Coach Bobby Knight for helping me make the U.S. Olympic team. He and Coach Ivan stressed defense, and that enabled me to play in the Munich Olympics. I think one of the most special moments in my life was calling my dad from Colorado Springs to tell him that I had made the team. There was silence on the phone for about five seconds before he choked out the words, we're proud, proud, proud. My next stop was the ABA and the Denver Nuggets. Coach Larry Brown pushed me to become the best player I could be. I'm thankful for that. Playing with teammates who were also encouragers was special. Players like Claude Terry, David Thompson, Matt Calvin, Ralph Simpson, Byron Beck, and Paul Silas made me a better player. Being traded to the Philadelphia 76ers was a surprise, but I'm grateful to Pat Williams, who as the Sixers general manager, took a chance on a player who was going through some medical problems. As in Denver, I encountered so many great teammates, guys who won together and lost together. Players like Clint Richardson, Maurice Cheeks, Doug Collins, Julius Irving, Moses Malone, Daryl Dawkins, Clement Johnson, Earl Curitan, the great Andrew Toney, and Charles Barkley. I think my fondest memories as a Sixer was the many bus rides after games in D.C., New York, and New Jersey, and talking with Clint, Doug, Darrell, and Jeff Millman, our equipment manager and friend to all. The NBA refs who called my games called 2,500 fouls on me during my career. <laughs> Their integrity and willingness to communicate to players about why a certain call was made is greatly appreciated. Men like Earl Strom, Jack O'Donnell, Tommy Nunez, Jack Madden, and Darrell Garrison. Men who called them like they song, sometimes in my favor, sometimes not. In closing, I must recognize my friends Larry and Joanne Rutan and Joanne's mom, Rita DeMeo, for their support and encouragement during my time in Philadelphia. I would also like to thank the Philadelphia 76 ers organization for the many kindnesses extended to my family and me over the years. Also, thanks to my children and grandchildren for coming and supporting me tonight. And finally, to my wife, Tess, my greatest supporter, and friend these past 45 years. She is the one who introduced me to Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Tessa's constant encouragement and companionship has been my greatest blessing. Thank you again for this honor. God bless you.